Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heavens Review for today, Tuesday, the 4th of May, 2021. I'm Ken Dema Jekodumi. Open Heavens is authored by that in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a new day and a new dawn. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray that as we learn at your feet, as we pray today, that you will answer every of our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today, the topic is prayers for the children. Today, we are praying for the children, prayers for the children. And the memory, our memory verse is taken from Psalm 37, verse 25. I have been young and now I am old, yet... Have I not seen the righteous sick, nor is sick, begging bread? Psalm 37 verse 25. I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging bread? A Bible reading is taken from the book of Joel 2 verse 28. Joel 2 verse 28. I read. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Hallelujah. So today the first prayer point says, Father, thank you for all children across the world. Please give our children a heart that seek you. Father, Thank you for all the children across the world. Please give our children a heart that seek you, a heart that pants after you. In Jesus' name, amen. The second prayer point, Father, help us to fervently teach our children your way. Please give us the wisdom to lead our children in the path of righteousness. Father, help us to fervently teach our children your way. Please give us the wisdom to lead our children in the path of righteousness. Amen. The third prayer point. Father, pour out your spirit upon our children and let them prophesy. Let them carry a full measure of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, pour out your spirit upon our children and let them prophesy. Let them carry a full measure of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. The fourth prayer point, Lord, don't let our children be victims of chaos in this world. They will not be victims of kidnappers, ritual killers, and wicked people. Amen. Please protect our children in all their ways in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Please protect our children in all their ways. Do not let them be victims of chaos of this world. They will not be victims of kidnappers, ritual killers, and wicked people in Jesus' name. Amen. The fifth prayer point. Father, we will not bury our children in Jesus' name. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Premature death is not their portion in Jesus' name. Father, we will not bury our children in Jesus' name. I cover them in the blood of Jesus. Premature death is not their portion in Jesus' name. Father, premature death is not our children's portion. We will not bury them in the name of Jesus. We soak them in the blood of Jesus. Amen. The sixth prayer point. Father, our children will not suffer from any sickness or disease. In Jesus' name, they will enjoy divine health in the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, our children will not suffer any form of sickness or disease in Jesus' name. They will enjoy divine health all the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning our children, divine health shall be their portion. They will not suffer any sickness or disease. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Father, 
uproot every evil influence in the lives of our children. Please separate our children from every negative association in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, uproot every evil influence in the lives of our children. Please separate our children from every negative association in Jesus' name. Separate our children, O Lord, from every negative association. Uproot every evil influence in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The prayer number eight. Father, this year, make a way for our children. Let them experience great miracles. Please remove every obstacle to their breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Father, this year, make a way for our children, even where there seem to be no way. Let them experience great miracles. Please remove every obstacle from their breakthroughs in Jesus' name. Amen. The ninth prayer point. Father, let this day mark a turning point to greater heights in the lives of our children forever in Jesus' name. Father, let this day mark a turning point to greater heights in the lives of our children forever in Jesus' name. Amen. The tenth prayer point. Lord, please make our children great. Use them for your glory. Let them be greater than we, their parents. Father, please make our children great. Use them for your glory. Let them be greater than we, their parents, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our parents, children be greater than us, O Lord. Make them great, O Lord, and use them for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, at your second coming, don't let our children be missing. At your second coming, O Lord, don't let our children be missing. Don't let them be missing, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let them make it to the very end, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let them be missing, O Lord, at your second coming. Let them make it, O Lord, to heaven at the very end, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The chopped prayer point, which is the last. Now pray for all the children around you, one after another. Ask God to do something special for each of them, and the Lord will hear our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. The thanksgiving. The twelve prayer point once more. Now pray. For all children around you, one after another, another, ask God to do something special for each of them. Amen. But thanksgiving, Father, thank you for the beautiful children you have given to us. Thank you for blessing us with these children and for trusting us to care for them. Father, we thank you, Lord. We exalt your holy name, Lord. For the children, O oh Lord, that you have given unto us, thank you for blessing us with them. Thank you, O oh Lord, for trusting us to care for them. We exalt your holy name, O oh Lord. Accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me. God bless you. Amen.